Hey everybody, hope you're well and it's James here over at the Part-Time Entrepreneur and today we're going to have a look at USI Tech. Now I have some inside information on these guys that I want to share with you today but before we do, let's understand what USI Tech is all about. How much is one Bitcoin making you sitting in your blockchain wallet? Nothing, right? What if I showed you a free opportunity where you can turn that one Bitcoin into almost five in a year passively with zero effort? Ponzi scam and a, and a pyramid scheme. Yeah. Introducing USI Tech, a company that for past eight years have been developing auto trading software in Forex, cryptocurrency, and commodities. Four owners with a combined experience of over 25 years in finance. Hang on a minute. 25 divided by four. That's only six and a half years each. Bring you the USI BTC package. Each package costs as low as 50 euro and generates you 140% over 140 working days. Hang on a minute, you're only actually paying 0.75% a day, even though you told everyone you're paying 1%. So that means it's 186 days. I think that inexperience of those financial guys is really starting to show. One Bitcoin worth of pack over a period of a year compounded will give you 4.7 Bitcoin, with experts predicting Bitcoin to double or even quadruple. That's 10 times to 20 times what you started with. That's with no recruiting, no daily tasks or selling. You heard it guys, absolutely no recruiting. And if you decide to introduce people, you get 10% per pack they purchase and 3% per pack for every person they introduce. I'm sure they said no recruiting. That all adds up massively. Get started in this no brainer of a business for free now. So even from the start, they're not telling the truth about everything. Now, in the last couple of months, they really have come under the hammer in terms of their fake mining. So, yet they claimed that the Genesis mining site was their own, and they even put up a poster, and their main guy ran across trying to pretend that the Genesis mining site was theirs. And here it is. <laughs> The actual fact of the matter is that they weren't mining at all. They lied to everybody. And Canada and the US weren't happy about USI Tech. And here's why. US and Canadian regulators have pulled no punches in slamming USI Tech, recently issuing cease and desist orders against the company for being a pyramid scheme. Surely it can't be a pyramid. Yeah, but okay. So if the, it goes both ways, then they they get in get into USI Tech. Whoever they so, sign up under them, they profit as well. That's a pyramid scheme. Yeah, yeah, I know what a pyramid scheme is. Yeah. All right, no worries. We'll move on from that. The um, so <laughs> that was good. That was good. So if we look at the front page of the website, they're saying that we've built the first automated trading platform for Bitcoin currency, and even the most experienced traders would be jealous of their results. Well, the thing that gets me, USI Tech haven't traded since October 17, and nobody knew until today. And let's have a look at some of the evidence. So here's a message. I've obviously covered up uh, people's names because obviously I don't want people to get into trouble. Uh, but basically, these guys, they told everybody they were mining, and they completely weren't. They told everybody that they were trading, and they stopped it in October. So what the fuck have they been doing? So I can tell you what they've been doing. So over the last few months, what they've been doing is they've been going to all of their top leaders and getting Bitcoin off them, basically. Uh, I have confirmation that one person, I can't say the exact figure because people will know who it is, but it was a substantial amount of Bitcoins that were paid back to USI Tech. And the reason they've been doing it is because they wanted to go to the top leaders to say, hey, we're in the shit, basically. Can you help us out? We want to keep this thing going. It's also speculated that they've had to bring in another investor, even after shutting down rebuys and only paying out 0.75% a day. You're probably asking yourself the question, well, why did they have to go to all the top leaders if they just didn't mine or just didn't trade? Well, the reason is this. There was a bit of a rumor going around that 130 million was stolen. It wasn't stolen. 
what happened was was that uh, in the early days people had more than one account so they were able to launder money through themselves now we'll see USI Tech wanted to do the right thing so hats off to them here where they they stopped that they brought all these different rules in that you couldn't have more than one account at one address and all the rest of it however by doing that there was a glitch in the system and it allowed people to extract 2.5 bitcoins from USI Tech a day. Now there was a small group that took complete advantage of this. Now all of a sudden they're running out of Bitcoin. And this also explains why people can't withdraw at this moment in time. So if we head over to the blockchain we can actually see the wallet address for USI Tech. Now these guys were boasting 1 or 2 percent of total coins however if we look at their wallet they've only got 211 coins which is roughly about 2.1 million at this moment in time and that's a very very long way from the 130 million that we talked about earlier but the key thing that really concerns me is that uh, i'm hearing stories of bullying i'm hearing stories of certain leaders being kept out of certain meetings because they're starting to question usi tech uh, and quite rightly so, you know, they're trying to get answers for people because their communication has been absolutely non-existent. And they've tried to use excuses, oh, we don't speak English and all the rest of it. But they've got lawyers, they've got, you know, all the rest of it. They could put out some statements or something just to give the community some insight to what's happening. Now, they're coming up with this 2.0 scenario where you can buy these other packs. However... Your 140% is now going to take you two years to get back. So I've been able to get into the back office. Now, they're obviously showing you their mining and how much they're earning and trying to prove to people that look what we're doing, look what we're doing. But the thing is, is that we already know that they lied before. So why on earth would we believe them now that they are now actually mining? Now, what you can do, you can also go over and look up their uh, their wallet. And again, they've only got 38 Bitcoin. Something here is really worrying me. And I sort of... I smell bullshit. So the other questions that I have is that these guys have obviously got their own ICO running. Now, where has that money gone? I do not know. Do they need hundreds of millions of pounds to start up an exchange? I've seen so many other projects and invested in projects where they've done that on a fraction of that amount. The biggest thing for me is, you know, if we look at uh, some other things that have happened in the marketplace where people have invested in Bitcoin and then they ended up getting tokens back. Now, all of a sudden, I'm starting to feel Be all over again. And I'm really sort of nervous for people that I can see this going one way where people aren't going to get paid out on their packs. They're not going to be able to do it. And what they'll do is they'll end up paying people out in the token and then we'll probably never see the exchange. So just a word of caution to everybody, you know, make sure that you always do your research. I hope today's video has been insightful and helpful. And just to give you a, a sense of what's actually going on rather than the bullshit they're trying to feed everybody. So I really do hope today's information has been informative and also helpful. And if you want to follow me, come over to either the Crypto Rookies Facebook group, uh, either the Cryptocurrency Community group, or follow me on Twitter. As always, guys, I'll see you on the next video. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. I'm feeling old.